Okay. This is and us on and us and everybody. Well, no, I'm talking about hey, you as in the people. We're here for the people. Um. Okay, that's extremely oh, racist. Um, can we? <laughs> that's extremely racist. You know what I mean? That's extremely racist. No. Pops. Okay. 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 That. Okay. Watch the sponsorship. We don't have money to be throwing sponsors around like that. Welcome everybody to the, the show. Um, Ask I, me if I give a shit. Okay, okay, all right. Mahoney, put the uh, the maturity thing on the stream real quick. We're gonna need it. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need it. <laughs> there might be a few swears. Okay, there. yeah, yeah, too late for that one, Pops. Um, like fornication, okay, stuff like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is Pops next to me. Okay, this is Pops. We got Jimbo on the mic and also Fun Ew. Robot Dog. Amazing. Do you want me to put my webcam on, though? Do you want to? Try. I, mean, I don't care if you want to me to do, do something. it. Try to do something. Try hey, it. I got. I got my webcam on currently. No, we uh, are broadcasting all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's Anyone called the internet, dude. Anyone can see this, dude. Oh, okay. Anyone can I'm see glad. this. So that means that means the government's gonna come down. You know. That's right. Yep. Vote for the Democrats to raise your taxes, asshole. Oh my god, okay. Can Pops, we have, can we have no keep, keep it to a minimum. This is a gaming show, this not a... Game. not a. This is, so, like the title suggests, uh, before Pops got all racy on us, is that, um... I think I need another adult beverage. Okay, no you soon. don't, no yeah, you don't. Do. Um... So this is this is about this right. is about video games, All right. not about uh, politics. Which I saw what was it, on the other night they had the the Democrats. Well, they they had mine, mine Fura, Obama. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, I already <laughs> miss Obama to be honest, but um, yeah. Do you see what we're going with? Do you see the next lineup right now? Do you want Trump? Well, what I see over there is Hillary. All of a cell. This okay. looks like something from Division, and then Robot. Yeah, dude. Robot dog. A fluffy robot doggy. No, she's right doing. There. No, she's doing. She's doing a saw, dude. She's doing a saw, dude. Oh, she's doing this. She's doing a saw, dude. Like saw, this. dude. Like no, this. no, dude. All right, never her, mind. Look All at right. her fingers. Let's oh go my on. god, dude, you're stealing this. Okay, so I drafted up some, um, <laughs> some, some topics. Mahoney, are you trying the webcam out over there? Or? Oh yeah, let me do that real quick. Mike, am I gonna call you though? I have to call you, don't I? No, I think you can just can... activate the webcam. Yeah, there we go. There you okay. go. So, all right. So we have Mahoney. Hey. Yeah, there he is. Look at that handsome California guy. Mahoney. So Cal that's what California looks like. <laughs> yeah. Can you see? Can you see us? Are we in a webcam? Uh, no. no. That I can see. You see this? Um, other hey, Matt, you see this? There you go. Oh, Hell for yeah. a second you had one. We had it for a second. Um, can't start video chat. Try closing other programs up. Oh, so I can't do it because. Oh yeah, you can't do this. Yeah. Skype stream. Okay. At the same so time. well, either way, on the stream, if you want to see us, Mahoney, we're on stream. Same with you, Jim. Um, Howdy. So. Uh, so that, that's Matt Cohen, dude. Oh my God. Where gonna... did he go? I don't know. He probably went. To the <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Get back here. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have some some topics. Um, what do you want to start with first? Because Mahoney, you really like um, this topic. This one's really good. I kind of wanted to do it a little bit more about fighting games. Oh God, that's nope. fucking okay. boring. Okay. 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 And then everyone said that, and then now we're moving on to games in general. Anybody? Yeah. Here? No. So, I a peanut butter I don't, dude, no one cares. No one. A actually, peanut butter croissant? Oh, I don't care. Give me one. So, the first topic yeah. that applies uh, to any games: Why are certain games not popular? Because they suck. Okay, so your Birds of Steel sucks. No. Then why is it no, not no, popular? No. Yeah, yeah. Now why you're thinking about it. Yeah. Because it's a very Difficult game to play. Okay. Uh, so the popular Aerial games are the casual hold on, games. Hold on, Jim, hold on. Physics. All right. There's physics involved in aerial combat. Okay. Stalling. Yeah. So you get these freaking, let's say, cod boys. Okay. Wow, right? that's that's an offensive term. Uh, we might have to to ban that a little bit here. Well, it's too late now to ban freaking cod boys. Cause okay. Just freaking. <laughs> okay. Set okay. It. okay. 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 We'll bleep right. it out later. Because it's difficult. <laughs> People don't know the physics of flying. Okay. All right. Okay. That's it. That's all you got. 
What else do you want me to say? I don't know. Uh, okay, well, so... I think I, I need another adult okay. beverage soon. Okay, go get one. Oh, my God. I will, as soon as the next <laughs> question comes up. <laughs> okay, All right. so we have... Well, this could be a, a very long topic here, because right now, Jim had something to say as well, but right now we yeah. have on the board, we have difficulty. Okay, so difficulty is, is a oh, leading factor. Excuse me. Definitely. Yeah. Before mm -hmm. I go on, I just saw myself drinking an adult beverage. Is this going to be all right for people under uh, 21? Well, well <laughs> Ma Mahoney could put a, a mature, a maturity, right? A maturity. Hey, 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 I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do <laughs> it on, I don't know how to do it on nice Twitch. Nice moves, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so oh that God. California did to him. Yeah, dude, it, um, it does a lot of things, man. I kind of want to move out is there. Is that like mer uh, medicinal marijuana? <laughs> I think, I think. well, we can have that. We're in Massachusetts as okay. well. We can, I think almost all of New England can have that. I think at this point all of America can have that. All right, what's oh, the no, can we stick on We haven't even heard these guys' opinions yet. You've been stealing everything. I so know. we have we have difficulty. Because I'm freaking old. Okay, okay, thank you. Let's move on to the, the, the next gym. Over to you. Yo. All right, so the question was, why are some games right. popular and others not? Yep. Well, no, why, so, are, why, yeah, when, why are some games just not popular? So you can, you're, so I guess to give a background, I'm a fighter, Pops is a, a shooter kind of aerial right, guy. Right, and also a racer. Racer. Uh, Mahoney likes his racist. cooking games. Racist. Racist, yep. No, no, no I don't not just a like Pops. cooking games, me. <laughs> Playing me down, boy. What's this with this? What's this with this? What? This, what, this, what, this, what, this, what? 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 Cooking game? No, okay, Mahoney. What? So, Mahoney, what games are you into? What are we gonna hear Dude, from you tonight? I like a lot of. Them. I like shooters. I like fighters. I like cooking games. I like cooking. You say cooking. cooking. Uh, yes. Yeah, you know, like kitchen. Cook, like you cook. I don't know if you know I about like, that. You know, you don't know about that. Is that uh, virtual reality? I like adventure games. I like puzzle games. I like. I like a lot of games. Dude. So, so Mahoney's the um the. The, the broad man he, he gets gets it all you know I'm I'm fighter you're garbage tier Jim is shooters and I, I I have shooters I dabble in RPGs I dabble in racing I kind of dabble not racist, dude. Jesus. I kind of dabble in uh what was it the fighter games still suck at them though but I mean I dabble in those. I don't know. I don't think he's trying. I think it's just the the. Can we stick to the topic on board here, dude? No. We, might, All right. we might have to take him off the show early. Okay. Yeah. So um, okay. So Jim, back yeah. back to to what we were talking about. Yeah. So the topic. Yep. Why are games not so popular? I know shooters are usually, um, for the most part, you know, they they slow like, down. I mean, slow down. Military <laughs> shooters. Okay. Military shooters definitely have a. A lot more uh, presence in the the popularity than other kinds of shooters. Like I mean, Destiny it was it sold on hype, but then just plummeted once. It was like, oh yeah. Now I mean, that's content wise now, and why stuff. Why do you think that? Now why do you think that? DLC. There wasn't really content at the at the the vanilla game. I think there was no content in the vanilla game, and you had to pay extra money for what should have been in the original game. But why was that game so popular in the first place? If hype, if, if, hype, hype, and the the uh, the company making it, right. and also uh, the company know. who makes it and the company who publishes it definitely has a uh, a pretty big part in uh, how popular the game will be. Right, and also you know, uh, Destiny multiplayer turned out to be like COD. That's debatable. actually it was like that's Halo. Kind of yeah, that's kind of well, sci-fi. Halo, dude. COD. Ways. There's a difference. There was there, there was no difference with Destiny. They didn't have an exclusive multiplayer. They mm. took it off of different games, and that was the problem. Yo, what up? What up? Number what up? Number point. one. Who's who's number one? The uh, number one. Uh, oh, I can't I can't read it. It's too long of a name. Number that one, stash. And... Is that stash real or fake? I think it's, it's fake. It's a, number one, Thailand Lent. Thailandin. Number one, Thailandin. I think that's fake, dude. I think it's a fake stash. It's actually a fake stash. Um, this? Yeah, that's a fake stash, actually. 
No, this is not where we are yet. This is not a fake stash. Yes, I've been growing this since 1985 when I first met my wife. Never mind. I think 85. I don't know. What's this huge? Never mind. I don't cash. know what this is yet. Pay PM now. Cash. Yeah. Okay. Pay daily. Make you a star. Now. I think I think cash, we got a I think cash, we got cash. a spam bot. Jim mod that mod that and ban him, dude. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'll get on <laughs> Twitch. Him, we haven't heard from Mahoney yet. Yeah, yeah. So, All right. um, so okay. So we have so reasons why they're not popular is they're they're not um they're not they're not easy and the people who make them. Yeah. Is so I would it? argue oh. Dota Two is a hard game and it's popular. Mm -hmm. But who made it? Like that's I was about to say. I think that helps prove your point. Yeah. That, yeah. that the creator of the game has an enormous, uh, an enormous that's stake really in whether or not the game actually becomes popular because it was made by Valve, which is instantly going to get a lot of people playing it. And I think it's just also just a really well built game. So. So it's also the quality of the game, obviously. Oh, yeah. I like mean, that should be a. Though. That should be number one, but it isn't. That's yeah, the thing. Sadly, it's not. But also the hype and the money involved in it. I mean, that's like the only game I can think of that has the cash prizes it has. Yeah. So people are into it for the money. People are into it for for the esports side of it. There's a lot more to the game than just the game. Right. And a good example of this. That is true. Yeah. What is it? God Infinity or something like that. And Call Battle of Duty Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare and Battlefield 1. Yeah. You know, people are just so sick of science fiction, all of a sudden they want to go back almost to reality, which was World War One. I. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many games can you make yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. deals with science fiction mm -hmm. that's the same, same bullshit yeah. okay, okay. going over and over and over again. Yep, yep. And now it's time for me to get another adult beverage. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right I back. think I think we need a break because we, we had um Okay, so he's so he had his statement. Uh what up Fetus Good, you're back. Um so this is a talk show Fetus if you haven't uh no, also there's this guy that's spamming in the chat. I I had him ignored. I don't know if that does anything for you. Um, it, uh, he says he is not spam. He promise. That's um. Okay. Okay. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. All right. All right. Um, Give him a chance. Anyways, so um, yeah. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to to uh, um, post. You know, post it in the in the chat. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You're part of the discussion too. Yeah. Everyone's part of the discussion. So we have um. I don't know. I don't know if Jim, Jim, if you have the the chat open. Um, I do. Okay. Uh, let me know if if that other guy is stop spamming about money and paid surgery. Um, <laughs> so uh, it looks like he has. Um. Yeah. Rip cod for real. Anyways. Um. So he. So basically, I mean, I was I was doing some research on the the fighting game kind of side, and I was looking at um like paid pot prizes for. Um, for um, Evo, right? And a lot of people, uh, like a lot of games, like Street Fighter had 50,000 plus the, the pools, which was like 5,000 something players. So you're talking about, you know, like a, a good chunk of change for, for the winning. And Tekken didn't get, I think they had a $10,000 pop bonus, but that was added right at the end before or after everything. Um, that's Jim's little Skype thing. Jeez Louise. All right, dude. the sound of America. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, oh, God. <laughs> so, well, I don't even know what I was saying, dude. Um, You're talking about tech Pot bonuses. Yeah, so pop. So, I think the, the big. But the thing is, is that Namco's not a small company. Um, Tekken's not a small game. But yet, that only had 549 entrants. And Street Fighter had 5,000. Um, to, and I, I would argue that, um, uh, Namco is doing a way hell of a lot better than Capcom ever will. Um, well, not ever, but unless if Capcom gets their act together. But I think mm -hmm. that, that Namco's doing a lot better, but why did Tekken only get like a, maybe like, I think the, the final pot was maybe second and it was maybe like $15,000 compared to Street Fighter's like... 
almost like sixty, I think. Sixty thousand. I think well, the when, I think the final pot that uh that infiltration took home was fifty five thousand dollars. And that's only for first place too. Yeah. Well, wouldn't that have to do with the popularity of the game and like the the cost of how much it would be to get into the tournament? Well, the thing and all well, that. Um, the cost the cost should have been the same per game. Um, it shouldn't vary between games. I haven't. What I've seen is that it it was. I think I don't know. I think ten dollars, but usually it's the same price per game. And um, yeah. and you know, Plus word on the, the street, you know, is yep. that Tekken's the best selling fighting game of all time. Granted. It's because the the series is I think is you know there's seven of them so you're gonna add all seven and also it yeah does but the, Street Fighter yeah and um, <laughs> yeah I mean come on you have ten versions of the same fucking installment <laughs> yeah um, Cohen he's I don't know he's walking around in the back man pay, pay attention dude get your mind out of the out of there and put it back in there. Wow. <laughs> Disrespect. I know where you live. Okay. Um, <laughs> thank you. Um, well, I don't even know what I was saying. All right. oh, okay. So, Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Tekken's Tekken. Tekken does a lot better in arcades. It does, it's one of the best selling arcade games. It's one of the first um, multi country online. Um, I think it's going to change a lot when the game's actually released for console. Um, and then it's going to bring, hopefully a lot of the Street Fighter players will realize, wow, this game's not as good and not as in-depth as everyone else says. And maybe maybe we'll move to Street Fighter, especially with Akuma. Hey, so, how's it going? You mean Tekken? Tek no, it was well, Akuma in Tekken, so people will move from Street Fighter to Tekken. That's, that's, my, that's my two cents. So we got not hype, but I mean, that game's got hype, though. That game, what, what up? What up? Let me throw a question. Okay, up. yep. Uh, best video game uh, based okay. on a movie, not which is really hard to get. No, 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 no. Yeah, there's there's not that many good ones out there. One. Okay. Uh, I'm to figure Episode out. three, Star Wars. No, no, no. Uh, what's the one with the um, uh, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup? They, they go. Okay. <laughs> they, go to, um, they go to that planet there, and the the cat people that are blue. Are you Avatar? Are you Avatar. serious? That Avatar game was are terrible. Avatar. That game is absolutely garbage. Classic. What? No, no, the no, PlayStation? It was pretty the bad. PlayStation let me, let, me one? Say, let me say this. Okay. That game was remember, so bad. I remember somebody saying to me, oh, that was probably the best game I ever played based on a movie. And who that person was was sitting here on my Me? Lap. Yes. I don't sitting. think I've ever played you that played game. It, you played I've it. never played that <laughs> game, actually. Anyway, all right. I never, I never, never, it was never actually me who played it. No, I'm not I've literally never played why that would game. I lie? Would because I lie? you're drinking beer, that's I why I do <laughs> I've not, never, I've I'm not, actually... I'm not doing crack. I'm, I've, no, I, you you don't, I don't know that anymore at this point, dude. That's all right, let's go Let's go to the next topic. I've actually... Well, no, no, doesn't want this question. anymore. I've never played that game. Yes, you <laughs> I, all of it. That, that Batman game on um, the, the Genesis. What was that game? That game oh! Was <laughs> that game was killer, dude. I love that game. That game was road rash. That's not based off a movie, though. I know, but oh my goodness, that should have been... Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, what about you, uh, Jim uh, uh, slash Oliver slash uh, whatever? What? <laughs> yeah, what are you even <laughs> talking about anyway? That's the game. question. Uh, yeah, Best game based on a movie? Yes. Um. I don't think they've added the uh, thing about Ghost Top in gun. the Shell yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, they've had a Ghost the uh, the Ghost in the Shell uh, open beta, yeah, okay. first person shooter on PC. It's pretty good. Okay. But would that be Avatar? That's not a movie. It's an anime. No, uh, but there were uh, three uh, movies though. Um, so does that mean? Does that mean that uh, Guilty Gear? Is, yeah. <laughs> Shopping his brain. The um has uh does that mean that that you got Guilty Gear? You got Blast Brew? You know those you games? Count? Blast Bla Bra What the hell is that? Blast Brew. <laughs> Is that from California, Brad? What's, the, Brad's pick Brad's what's nice. the pick change, Jim? The I like the the classic. Yeah, game. dude. Okay. So what's the temperature out there in California right now? Uh, it's 95 to 100 degrees every well, day. Wow. Oh, get the hell out of there, will ya? 
Yeah, well, I know, right? How many earthquakes have he had? <laughs> he doesn't, I don't think he's had earthquakes. I think he's had fires. There is a fire. Uh, there was one earthquake, and there's been two fires. Oh, wow. No, that's not bad. That's, that's actually a, not too bad. That's actually. more than us. Yeah. Well, at this rate, I don't know if you looked outside. It could happen any time. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Back to the topic. Um, Alright, so, uh... I'm a care. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I squeaked. I'm actually just... Alright. Alright. Get me started here. Oh, my God. Alright. Um, okay, so we have... Hey, wait, wait, um, this ghost in the heel is great. Ghost in the heel? Ghost... He, he shell. connected uh, shell. Oh, there's a, a snake in shield. 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 Yeah, he meant... Uh, he meant uh, ghost in the okay. shell. It's alright. No, I... I Shield. Don't hate on him. He's an admin. I'm cool. I'm yeah, he's, cool. he's it's a moderator actually. It's a moderator. Whatever. Check your, check your privilege. He's a he's a mod. He's good as a moderator. Yeah, he's he's been here since the beginning. He's a lad. The beginning he's of what? Time? Our stream. Yeah, of time for this stream. Oh, well, thank you very much. The feed is good. <laughs> I love that name. All right, I'm Mace, Mace, get us back on topic. What's the next subject? Okay. Have we even discussed um, the other subject? Well. Okay, so I guess to, to summarize, let's see if we all... Okay, to what a game to make it popular? Money, okay? No, no, no. Money, okay, hype, right. who let's makes not, it? Okay, hold subject on. Subject matter. Subject matter. The subject matter. Okay, you want That's the actually something we didn't touch on. That's something we didn't touch on. What? Money? No, no, subject. Like, what it's about. Like, oh, like, yeah! No, oh, no one wants to play a game mean? that isn't, like, that they don't find cool. Like yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Like, that's, Here's that's something. Sucks. I'm so sick of this... Freaking zombie shit. Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'm so sick of everything. Is there are way too many zombie, zombie games out there. I'll admit, yeah. Caught had zombies. Enough of the zombies. I don't think, dude. I don't think that's gonna, dude. That sells bank. Zombies do sell. Right. <laughs> that sells. sells. I mean, Left 4 Dead is a, is a badass game. Yeah. It's true, yeah. It's like, like the only fucking zombie game that was ever like original at word? all. Mahoney probably, yeah. yeah. Mahoney. You could say. Hey, it. hey, you gotta be watching the oh my language God. Okay. of Mahoney. Pops, you literally can't talk right now. <laughs> like, literally, like, you literally shouldn't be talking right now. You've been swearing all day. Cool. Okay, okay, put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Put it back in the pants. Put it dude. away, boys. Dicks out for a robot. Is, is what's his name gonna shut me down? Yeah, yeah, Fetus, Fetus is out. actually, he's actually gonna uh. crop you out on this stream. He's actually gonna, okay. Right. So back to the subject matter. So what what's cool right now? Apparently sci-fi isn't with the new Call of Duty game. Sci-fi? What's Fate going is. on? Fate? Sci fi is not having anything. Okay. Alright, alright. What, what is Mahoney Mahoney had something to say. Mahoney had something to say. What what happened? Oh my no, god. No, you were supposed to say something before I said I, I, well, I had nothing in mind. Oh okay, right, never mind. Okay, so well games I'll, are selling. I'll be real with yeah, you. Yeah, games are selling. So Pops doesn't like zombies, but why but is they that, sell. why is zombie selling? Like, why is it? Why would that game be selling? Well, why does people always want to go to an accident? Oh. Why, why do they want to go to an accident? They want to see the gruesome corpse there. It's true, yeah. They want to see blood. They want to see yeah. dismemberment. I why? don't. Pops, I don't, don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Well, you're one of the chosen few. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. <laughs> the chosen one. <laughs> Harambe. Harambe. We're Harambe. Harambe is right. calling. Right. That's but what it anyway, is. Now we're off the subject. Why? So, people... so I guess so. <laughs> is zombie games? Is it just? I guess it's easier and it's more accessible to have gore it's, and a lot. It's more, more socially acceptable it's to have more gore. Edgy. You know, you can be an Whoa, edge master. I don't know about yeah. that. Yeah. Edge lord. That's some. That's some. That's some. No spicy edge? stuff there, boys. No edge for you, Mahoney. I, I don't know if it's more socially acceptable to have gore. I think it's just that because people. It, 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 it appeals to. Angsty children. <laughs> so yeah, it might be like cooler, angsty, but like the, make it like, like Twilight and the you know like those like like, like come on like when you were like sixteen, you thought it was so cool to play Halo because there was blood in it. Like, but that's just because you were like sixteen. I just like, like sci-fi. Now it's like, now it's like you, you're it's like it's like alcohol. It's like it's cool because like because like. You're too young if, for if, it. If you drink when you're before you're old enough, it's cool. But like once yeah. you like are old enough, you can go out and buy alcohol. It's like, ah, who cares now? <laughs> so so I think zombie it's, I think games. games have a very similar appeal. So it's, so that it's cool for the kids that are under eighteen that their parents go to like Game GameStop and buy them um, that GTA. Uh, yeah, GTA zombies. Yeah, exactly. Or something. Well, because so yeah, it's, it's like porn, then, right? It's, it's <laughs> 
It's like, <laughs> oh my god, I see my first, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Boobs! Oh, boobies! And then, uh, and, then, and then it just escalates mm -hmm. into that. Okay, yeah. Until you get to my age, and who gives a F? A lot of people, a lot of people still do. What? F? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, anyway. Okay, where this is a gaming talk, Pop. Let's keep it gaming related. <laughs> well, um, don't game some of them like, uh, what is it? The GTA. GT something or other. Five, six or something. They have all sorts Five. of these uh, sex scenes in it. Uh, they have strip clubs. No, you can, you can, I think you can, you can actually pay for, for like, um, Wasn't prostitutes. Wasn't Halo 5 only rated T14? Apparently it was, yeah, Jim says it was. Yeah. So apparently, yeah, Halo went, I think, um, what game was supposed well, to be? Well, which one is Halo 5? The newest one. The one that the newest one. was garbage, dude. Well, it is garbage. The reason why they went teen is because they could sell more. No, it, okay, in all honesty, Halo, the whole, like, at least maybe, like, two onwards, didn't really need to be rated M, like, there were so many teen games out there that were worse than Halo, but they just kept with the M rating because, uh, like, the first game Aesthetics. was M. Aesthetics. And, yeah. Aesthetics? Aesthetics. Yeah, you know like the looks. that one. Like the looks. The S isn't that hard. Aesthetics. 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 Not aesthetic. Hey, wait a minute. But yeah. The real talk. What happened to Road Rash? Uh, now, Genesis had Road Rash, Road okay. Rash 2, Road Rash 3. Yeah. Why wasn't there ever a Road Rash game for Xbox 360 or even one? There's game? a Road Rash game for PC. Road Redemption. Road Redemption. Road Redemption. Only for yeah. PC. Well, well yeah. You think, now that we're talking about money <coughs> and different games, don't you, don't you think that they would develop a game for the Xbox, uh, the, well, what, what do you call it, X-Bone? And <laughs> next gen consoles, just call them that. Next gen consoles. Well, next gen. That, that, that's so. Uh, I mean, in all honesty, Come like on, the road rash, game, like the what's the, the PS4? concept. PS4. Yeah, or you could just summarize it and say next generation consoles. Oh, the yeah. next generation consoles. What do you? What, oh, what's that? Yeah, what's so, so bad crap. about that? Whoa. What's so bad about next it's, generation? It sounds consoles? so politically correct. What I can't are you take talking it. About? Why? What's so correct about? Saying next generation consoles. Next generation console. What does that sound like? Next generation. Next gen. Console. It sounds like the next. <laughs> don't you want to? Hear people want to say X Bone. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. I don't care. That's gonna sell, baby. Uh, X Bone, baby. And, uh, how about PS4? What are the PS4? That's yeah, that's it. Damn boring. It's PS4. PS4. Well, it's PS4. PS. PS. Uh, Dude, I need a PS4. For PS4. I need a PS4. I don't know. Postscript? No, premental syndrome or something. Holy crap! That's PMS. Uh, of course, Holy crap, I went totally dude. off the subject. Are you kidding me, dude? So, okay, okay, okay. Going back on subject about why Pops is saying that the... Why isn't there a Road Rash game? Yeah. It's because, um... The idea of Road Rash is such, like, a, a simple idea of just racing <laughs> with guns. That there are so many other games out there that have that as well as other things. Like, if you look at GTA yeah, Five, the they have racing. Yeah, you can have motorcycles, cars, and you just take out, like, an Uzi and you just shoot the other guy. But it's also, it has so much more than just that. That's why games like Road Rash have kind of gone out of out of existence. No, no, you could always develop more with Road You need an yeah, imagination. But well, what yeah, but just the concept like of Road Rash is it's 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 one minded. Like GTA has every well not everything, but it has so much. Yeah, but G the problem with GTA is that if it has it's like it's like a jack of all trades, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. none. So it's like so oh. what Pop is trying to say is why can't we just have Master one game one, that yeah. masters the one element of racing? Mahoney had something to say, Mahoney go. Yes. I I'm sorry, I was I was just gonna throw in like what what about like when the new Twisted Metal came out? Yeah. Like, Ooh. the new Twisted Metal sold pretty well when it first came out. I think it sold pretty well, but it didn't stay. I think a lot of people... It was, it was iffy it on was the... Twisted metal, it was mixed... Twisted Metal fanboys. Yeah, but I don't think... Well, I think <laughs> the fangirls... I'm sorry. I mean, on Metacritic, it actually got good ratings. Oh, which yeah? Is, okay. Which is, which is actually surprising to me. Yeah, yeah. But, like, it's just... It, it, Twisted Metal, like, took the... Took the, the it was the same old twisted metal back from like PlayStation One and Two, but yeah. they added enough new features and they polished it just enough to make it feel like a new game. Yeah, yeah. 
So there's nothing to say that that couldn't happen with a game like Road Rash. I just think that when the new one came out, they didn't really try. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's also like I think it was almost like a like a beta in PC. Like yeah, I it was actually like a it was uh, early access. Yeah, it was only an early access. So I mean, you know, Steam and early access. Um, but yeah, I don't think that really it didn't really go anywhere. So there's still a possibility. But like like Jim's saying, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out that already contains stuff like it or similar to it. It's just that, um, yeah, it just doesn't. I don't, speaking of, I'm looking at that that guide. You remember that game? The guide right there, Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Oh, you remember God. that remember game? That remember that? Remember? Yeah, remember where that went, dude? Uh, they're now making an open world, open world Ghost Recon that looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the that's Wildlands, the whatever. Yeah, I think it's coming out early Wait. next year. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Do you remember when they showed the uh, what are they called? The, the, the very first, the cinematic reveal cinematic trailer, like trailer, like exactly. teaser, thank yeah, you, teaser, thank teaser thank trailer. Teaser it looked trailer. so yeah, it looked yeah, that, that, so much they, better than what the never, game actually there's became. There's something yeah. we can talk about. The, the, why do why do cinematic trailers exist? Is that is that an actual we can. That's yes. a legitimate question. A legitimate why question. the hell do you think cinematic trailers are Suck anyone is... Why do you think anyone thinks it's acceptable to buy a game based on a cinematic trailer? Hype. <laughs> Hype. Well, Hype. back in the old days, now people have learned. You got Battlefield 1. They see the first trailer, and they see... What's the other one for COD? Infinite Warfare. Infinite, Warfare. Infinite Warfare. And how many negative... Dislikes, yeah. Dislikes did Infinite Warfare get well, compared to Battlefield 1? Uh, let me check right now. I'll All check. Right. All right. I'll, I'll be the I data. Know what uh, Matt is, 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 is thinking yeah. is... Well, look at... Let, let's... The, the sun is still out over there. No, that, that's the kitchen light, fam. Oh, that's what, a kitchen light. <laughs> hey, what time is it over there, Matt? It's, uh, it's, it's 9. On, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine oh. o'clock. Minus 3. It's minus almost three. midnight? All right. Infinite Warfare reveal trailer. It has currently 3,134,343 dislikes. Jeez. 3 million. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, out of how many views? Uh, so you 31 million. You multiply that by $60 for the game, and then you're going to get a, a number. Okay, let me bring up let me bring up a few you will get points. Enough. Let me bring up a few points to defend Call of Duty, okay? All I'll right. be the one to oh, actually God. defend Why are you it. Defending because Call of Duty? because this is what I like. I like creating oh, turmoil God. within the group here. <laughs> so, is are you, are you my son? I don't care. Yes. Okay. You get a job yet? No. <laughs> Let me say this is my oh, job. This is my, my money. God. I get my this is my Twitch money. Oh, I'm going to get sponsored. God. <laughs> Oh my god. Let me talk. Because let me I'm talk. Like, okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, let me talk. So Call of Duty is so good publicity is any publicity. That has thirty one million views on YouTube. Three million are dislikes. But but they have thirty one million. And you know there's going to be people out there that are going to be like, oh, dude, this COD probably sucks. I have to buy it now, right? Like every Just to see how bad it is. Ever created. Re reverse psychology? Yes. So, <laughs> but, No, wait, wait. Isn't Infinite Warfare no, I, I, getting I get what you're saying. another game with it? Yeah. See, now, that's another big point that I was going to bring up. Right. Is there... They don't care about Infinite Warfare. All they care about is the Call of Duty 4 Remastered, which Remastered. is the only reason why people are going to buy that game. No. So it's like, but everyone's mad because, oh, I have to buy Infinite Warfare. Exactly. Because... So what do you think COD is going to do next? Make another Go game back next to basics. like they always do. Yes, but going to what? Call of I Duty. think... No, no, yeah, World War One. what do you think? Hey, what happened to Matt? He's minimized. He's down. I don't oh, know what Skype is. does. I don't know what Skype. Just let <laughs> Skype work. It does. Oh, it does that. All of a sudden, he... I think because Oliver Oliver's got a a, got a C span. Uh, yeah. That Brazilian. Uh, I think, it, I think it's Gras it's it's Carol. a Renaissance. It's a Renaissance. Yeah, Renaissance. It's a really cute <laughs> one. It's a cute yeah. one. What is the Assassin game thing? Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I miss. Uh, real talk. I miss the real Assassin's Creed. Okay. okay. Um. I actually almost installed Assassin's Creed right, today. Is, right. Which one? The first wait, one? Wait, 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 I was no, I was gonna I was gonna install Black Flag Ew. and Revelation. I was gonna buy Infinite Warfare standalone. Exactly. Yeah. Feed is good. Exactly. You 
Everyone, everyone's been. Every, right on okay, the nose. Okay, all right, all right. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. okay, bring the French down. We don't need French in here. <laughs> bring the French up. Bring the French up. Turn it up. <laughs> you want to start oh swearing in French? Oh my mind. god. Go okay. But feet is good, dear. Yeah. Am no, I it's a good. Right? Yeah. Am that's I what I call. That's what I mean. That's what we've been exactly, saying. That's exactly right. And it's all about yeah. the money, which it's Mahoney all, brought up. Yeah. The other yeah. Day. And it's. Yeah. About a half hour ago. Yeah. It's it's like um, it's it's. What happened to Cohen? He's, I don't know, he's probably oh in his room somewhere. He went out, he went out. I don't know where he went. He went out somewhere. Oh, he's going <laughs> oh my down God. Sunset oh Boulevard, my God. baby. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's cruising. Oh, <laughs> baby. Venice Beach. All right. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Can we, dude, right. there's so many highlights right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, what's going on? So, I'm gonna get back to the topic. Why is a game so popular? I'm gonna put a what twist. Game? Anything. Why are games popular? Is it, we're, um, going, we're going to topic one. Topic, we're going to topic two. Back. Topic we're going Ooh. to topic two. Wow. So, does a community relate? A gaming community. For example, FGC, you have like the, the Overwatch. Ooh. The Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's have. the sound. Let me ask you this: If companies want to sell more games, why aren't they trying to get the female dollar? They are. Like, right? Mm. They're trying, but you know, I see it in Battlefront, their Star Wars. A lot of female. Um, what do they call it? Stormtroopers? Troopers? Yeah, whatever. That, whatever. No, but that's just characters like, in right, general. Right, okay. Okay. But you know, in in world wars, you're not gonna get females, right? Not on the Russian. Halo, not on the Russian Halo, side. You get not it. on the Russian side. Or not, not Check on, the history. On the Check Russians, it. yes, you had even female pilots, the Black Witches. All right. Um, history. Uh, but you're not gonna find any. Too many okay. team, except in the Israeli army. Okay. Okay. So this is completely different. No. So, so what? So get to the point. What's and the, the partisans? Partisans had a lot of females. So why What's the point? Why don't they incorporate partisan females in war games, and they would sell more money because the females would buy the game. That is actually a big issue with Battlefield One. Like I know, I think I read somewhere that um, I don't know if this is true or not, but. In the, uh, I, I was I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw an article and I I was reading through it and I guess one of the main reasons why that uh, they don't have females as a multiplayer character in Battlefield One or supposedly that's what's going on is that it's because they wanted to like uh, I think it was it wasn't even about the historical aspect it was just about the um it, it was about how popular like a female would be in oh, the, like the World War One game for like the that the people playing it. It's not even so much the fact that oh yeah like appeal to the the women. Like I know we should be like obviously appealing to both to both sexes, but I, in World War One there yeah. wasn't both sexes or just men fighting. There, that's another point though. There were some women on every side fighting like granted it wasn't like a majority or like a, anything like that but there were women on both sides fighting since well, when was battlefield time, a, oh, go ahead, go ahead, about man. being historically accurate like i don't that's I, I don't, another I topic call, i call bullshit on that like like if you're gonna if you're gonna like pull this out of your ass and say oh we don't have females in the game because we we, we want to be historically accurate and then you look at the past seven battlefield games and not a single one of them is historically accurate. Yeah. Then, like, you start but, to, like, but Matt, like, well. But, Matt, but Battlefield has the most realistic... It's so realistic. It's it's such a real game. It's literally well, like simulating they, warfare. The they've physics also, are they've, realistic. They, the, only other, the only other post-modern game they ever made... Or, sorry, pre-modern game they ever made was uh, Vietnam. In 1943. Made, exactly. they, they, oh, and... And, but they, but but they've only ever made games that tech that take place in like like modern war, but like not like true stories or anything. They're just kind of like they just kind of take place in the modern times. Like 
So I guess they've never really had to be historically accurate. So maybe yeah, even then they only had guys too. So it's like you think that yeah, in a exactly. modern in a modern fighter or modern not modern like a modern war fighter fair oh, thing, well, it should have girls in it. Wasn't there? Yeah, uh, exactly. You'd expect wasn't that. there a woman? And I think the first Iraq War that uh, she, she was taken prisoner and they went and saved her. I don't, that, I don't know. Was that the first Iraq War. I remember there was something about that. And she wrote a book after, but there were females in that war, either the first one or the second one. But they are fighting in there, and they could have incorporated them in the battlefield, whatever was it four maybe mm-hmm. battlefield hardline three. four or something like that. Hardline, right. yeah. Hard yes, line. it was Jessica Don Lynch. There you go. There you go. She was she was a POW. Yeah, and they went insane. And she was retrieved. Yeah. Right. That's her. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the thing. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Well. I, I mean, I knew I knew that. Hey, not bad for I, an old I knew, guy. Yeah. I know yeah, that, that there's you know women fighting in Iraq, but I didn't know yeah. that that was happening back in 2003. Yeah. Yeah. So, there you have it. Because yeah, there was a, quite a few people who I went to school with. A lot of uh, there were a lot of girls who were doing like the. Uh, um, ROTC. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> well, it's nothing. I know, I know nothing Russia in World War II had a lot of females. Yeah. I think most of them, weren't they like snipers? Well, they, well, they just there wanted were some snipers in Stalingrad, yeah. They just wanted free body Pilots. bags. That's what they wanted. It was, it was body yeah, bags. the Russia didn't Russia care who you were. They Russia, just wanted yeah, people. They wanted free people to run out in the front and just that, get killed. The Russian steamroller, that was it. That's their philosophy. That's their tactics. Russian steamroller. I mean, one of them wars, one of them World War One and Two. And Two, well, they didn't. Win World <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they won it, but they, like... they popped out of World War One because they had a revolution in yeah. their own country in 1917. Uh, we're, we're I like, I like that history. Now. So that that <laughs> wasn't. I, like that that wasn't, I want more of that history on here. <laughs> that wasn't. So what I was saying. Well, I guess Pop says a point is trying to get the the female audience. Right. Um, as yeah. you can see, none of us here are female. Um, the, uh, racing, so our opinions aren't going to get you know, very... The hill climbing uh, European championships, they do have female racers. In America, they have had female race car drivers. Well, I, I think as a... Yeah, like the um, Danica Patrick or whatever in NASCAR, right? Exactly. right? Man, she's one of the yeah. best. Well, she used um, to be an Indy car, so she went to NASCAR. So, but I guess, I guess a big problem that I have with stuff like that kind... Is why would you separate like you know like you have a, a, a women's and a men's league for racing you know like does that really matter like it shouldn't no. matter no. like yeah. it should be combined you know, know like I know some guys who are uh, 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 racers that suck yeah I mean I'm not a racer <laughs> well yeah but because there's no there's no like the physical limitation like people will argue like a men and a women's sport like separate like like maybe like golf or like football stuff like that but like racing. Which I don't even know how valid that is, but like racing is like it's literally a car. Like yeah. there <laughs> are like it does require strength, but I mean, granted, it's mainly about skill. I will, yeah, it's 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 about the skill with added strength. Like you gotta, you know, G forces, you know, like all that. Hey, what were we talking about before this? Women in video games. Into, into, to, to, from why are games popular? To does the community contribute to that? To yes, what makes a community? To, why is the community why good? Don't these, I really yeah. Why don't these these game companies appeal more to women? I think that's what we were. Okay, discussing. I mean we can go back to that topic. Yeah, yeah, I mean, let's, let's do that. Let's, not, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. I want to move on. Okay, we can move All on. Right. Okay, so we can talk next, about next topic. Well, we could go into to communities in general. Like like you got you got some underground communities with like birds of steel and stuff. Birds of steel, baby. yeah. And then you know, I got a lot done. of gripes yeah. about Birds of Steel, but we're gonna move on. Go ahead. Well, and then and then you got um, the FGC, and then you got Jim. Yeah. I don't know. Do you FGC. fighting game community? Oh, okay. I and thought, then I thought you were swearing. Okay. Um. Then you got uh, Mahoney's Cooking Leagues. Uh, what the hell is that? All about? <laughs> cooking league. Dude, what about like? What about like, my, what about like my? What about my real cook? money? What about my real money, Mason? <laughs> is that an actual video game where you cook? There are no, a ton of video it's, games where you it's, cook. It's this game called Cook Serve Delicious. It's so good. I'm just trust. You, you, you do like oh, bed, uh, eggs Benedict and stuff like that. 
<laughs> well, not I, was that just, I was, I'm just talking about like, um, and you got communities like League, Overwatch, mm. Dota. I know there's the Division community on Facebook that's Division. a bit of dickish. You got my fighting game community, boy. Yeah, fighting game. You got um, oh, you got the rhythm, rhythm game games, community. Yep. I was gonna say rhythm games. I mean, so much, dude. So does does that contribute to popularity? Does that contribute to the game not being popular? I think if anything, they they, right. they, the they take away. I think that I think communities take away from a game's popularity. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on <laughs> how the community acts. Like uh, I know with the uh, the division community that I have liked on Facebook, like whenever I see their posts, it's either complaining about how other people are being dicks or. Uh, trying to glorify their dickish move or just move. like it, it's just all about complaining like honestly like that has an impact on me like wanting to play the division because it's like oh like i know i'll be playing with these guys because they're they're liking the page i play the division they have like gameplay and all that it's just uh it, i guess it depends on the community like if it's a great community playing a game it it might boost its popularity a little bit because it's like oh yeah these guys are all super fun then yeah they're like oh these guys are like uh compatible with my personality i'll go play that kind of game with them but then if it's a game like uh like minecraft where it's just a bunch of nine-year-olds trying to play mm -hmm. creative and like uh just destroy their house or destroy your house and then complain when you destroy their house then it's just like i don't want to play that but like i mean I, I feel like those like utopian like communities don't exist like i feel like all communities yeah. eventually go down this shitter like exactly <laughs> which brings up another point why aren't there more dystopian games Dystope? What do you mean dystopian? Oh, that's okay. Uh, Ops really uh, likes dystopia. That's a sick setting. It's a sick setting. I mean, um, I, I was trying to think of a um, a book or something, uh, no, no, a movie. No, no, no. What are those uh, Japanese uh, animes? Um, <laughs> those wow. Uh, what are them Japanese Last, cartoons? Last Exile. <laughs> Last ex Yeah, Japanese cartoons. Last Exile. That was a great series. They should have made a game off that. I don't know if anybody else has seen it. But it was quite fascinating how the first episode spilled out onto the screen. Where they had these massive spaceships where the doors opened up. And they had these guys lined up like in the Napoleon Wars and shooting each other. Mm -hmm. Dystopian. What the crap's dystopian? Give me a, give me a definition. Is, Pops, that's not really dystopian. Hey, dystopian that's is like dystopian a to me, man. No, I'll I'll give you a definition. Dystopian, dystopian is basically when you're when you're when you're like it's like it's like very dark. Like dystopian is like um it's like a it's like apocalyptic. Uh, I have I have the it's it's it's, it's like when a game is like resem like a setting is resemblant of like like extremely like harsh ruler and like 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 basically like nazi germany is okay. like yeah you mean like obama <laughs> okay okay, <laughs> okay, oh my God, that's so nice. okay i have a direct obama i have a, a direct uh what's it called direct <laughs> okay. definition it's, like the, it's the opposite of utopian pretty much yeah it's like okay. what dystopian is. a dystopia could could also be um a a uh, a fake utopia per se i learned about this in uh, in high school it's about mm -hmm. so it's it can to the uh, the public eye of of the uh, the universe that it's in like it's like oh yeah everything's fine but it, there's actually something extremely wrong like underneath the uh, b behind the iron curtain per se. You mean a different dimension? So, well, yeah, it's the universe of the dystopian like the like, like if you're watching the movie. Yeah. Speaking of dystopian games, there was actually just a game I was looking at earlier today. Yeah, um, it's recent. Called... If you say it, I might know what it is. Uh, we Happy Few. Yeah. Oh, I've heard, heard about that, about yeah. Drug, That's right? a dystopian game. Right? And it's about a drug, and it's like a psychological yeah. horror. Yeah, it's, it's basically, it's, it's, it, ta it takes place in, like, uh, in, like, the UK, and basically it's, awesome. like, whenever, like, the whole entire society is forced to take these, like, happy pills, which is, like, this drug that, like, completely dilutes reality. Oh, exactly. And basically, if you don't take your pill, you're considered, like, a downer, and What's you're it? basically beaten What's until it? What's it you take again, the Mahoney? pill. 
It's called We, we Happy, Happy Few. Few. Yeah, Basically, I've heard of that. you play as a downer who is a person who, who's off their meds, and you're trying to escape the society, but in order to, like, fit in, you have to act like you're happy all the time, or you can just pretend you're not and just kill, like, everyone. So, like, it's... <laughs> that is an extreme dystopian right it's, there. It's dysto- that's, that's dystopia right, right. there. That's, that's like fucking the dystopia. That's I tried to watch, have these guys watch the other day. What's the name of it, remember? Oh, God, no. Uh, you, you inject something in your, your, your uh, neck... Is this, the name? is this the stupid movie that you keep trying to tell us to watch? Yeah, like, it's an excellent movie, yeah. Like, it, has, it begins it with an E or something. It's not like, it's like, um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mom and I watched you, it. You can even cool. call, like, The Matrix a dystopia. Like, yeah, Matrix, have you ever watched V for Vendetta? That's a, like, uh, oh. that right there is a perfect example of a dystopian society. So do you think v they for Vendetta. A game of it? Why no. make a game of movies? Well, that's movies of suck. Talk. Well, that's movie one games of the suck, we dude. About. Movie games are literally it's the that's worst very true. games. Bioshock Vita's good brought up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking in the chat. We play Bioshock. That's Bioshock. Great Bioshock. dystopia that's game. The water. Bioshock. Bioshock. And then there's the one that you're there's like a like Bioshock a rat Infinite god. in the sky. What was what was the rat god one where you're like a, a guy of the rats and you have like um. I had it, and you have a Dishonored. Dishonored. Dishonored, yeah. Oh, that one, uh, yeah. What? That's a oh, great that's dystopian what game. What about, dude? That's, that's a dystopian, dystopian, dystopian game about assassins. Before he kills somebody. He whispers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. What the hell was that? That's your spells. Assassin's Creed. No, no, no. That's your spell. That's your spell. That's your spell. Right. The game was godlike. But, I, but I, I think that dystopian settings are, are, are always awesome. I've always absolutely loved I, Yeah, I haven't really played it. I haven't set. played a game that's had a bad dystopian setting like i've i've played a game and like i've always enjoyed it when it's dystopian like it's like oh it a, a, an apocalyptic setting is not necessarily dystopian like fallout not dystopian because there's no government it has to have something to do with government, government or oppression or anything like yeah. that well i mean like like I, have you ever played um have you ever played uh what is it um little inferno yes little inferno is like a dystopian game and that game, like, even though it's so simple, I absolutely loved it because it's, of those, it has a like, charming, those yeah. like hilarious videos they would insert that were like completely fucked up and like super like disturbing, but like with the happy music in the background. Exactly, and, like, it's like that. It's that brilliant atmosphere of it. I, I absolutely love it. You gotta know how to how to plan your dystopian atmospheres and all the plots, and you have to be really subtle at the very beginning about how. It actually yeah. is a dystopia, but then slowly and slowly as the game progresses, it has to be more and more apparent that this world sucks and yeah, you need to get out. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I agree with that. The world sucks. Thank you. Was, he pops brought in a sponsorship. Right. He wants to sponsor right. something again. Sponsor. I feel one and zombies. What does that have to do with anything? It's not going to have it's zombies. A it's a book. It's already happened. It's already happened. I already read this. All right. What's it called? Give give the sponsorship right. at this point. Sponsorship. The Kaiser's zombie army stormed the trenches and the skies. That's not by the, title. the blood of heroes, the great undead war, book one, by Joseph. Yeah, that's a book. Nazisi. Yeah, it's a book, but it's a book. That ain't a game, dude. We're talking he's, about just, zombies he's just saying that it's already one. sponsored. It's so, already a sponsor. So Battlefield okay. One goes to zombies. That's what the next step is. Uh, I, I don't think Battlefield One is going yeah, to zombies. It's too They're, hardcore and it's too real. It's too. It's way um, too realistic. A, it's too. It's too realistic of a shooter. It's one of the best uh, uh, war emulations out there. Um, it's one of the only war emulations out there Jim, for World War One. Is a war emulation, okay? <laughs> I know so, <laughs> cod fanboy. I'm a cod. I like. I like cod. I think cod is one of the greatest shooters of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh let's be God. all let's all be one on one. I gotta go to the bathroom on that one. Let's all be real. Is that <laughs> we all played we all played Call of Duty Modern Warfare two. We all yep. played. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down. Call of Duty played, Modern Warfare one. You played. You played Modern Warfare two. Don't lie. You played. No, oh, I I played. <laughs> I played. You played it. I probably played fifteen hours of Modern Warfare yeah, two. Okay. Yeah, keep telling. I probably so played. I probably played like 400, 500 hours of Modern Warfare one because that was actually a good game. Wow. No, that one, that one, the World at War wasn't too bad. I kind of like their World War Two shooters, to be honest. I yeah. Slow down, dude. Good. World at War, calm down. It was like a bad Call of Duty 2. Watch it? Uh, I am watching it. Okay. The best, in my opinion, though, 
Call of Duty, um, The Finest Hour. I think that was the best, one of the better Call of Duty. Yeah, okay. I think it actually was a really good game because it did a really good D-Day, which we all know like makes or breaks a World War II game. <laughs> they did a really good D-Day, and they had it had an online mode that actually worked. And like I loved the campaign because it jumped around between Britain, out in the deserts, in, in Africa. It jumped out to... Um, it Russia. did. Um, it did America. It did Russia. You got to play as German. Uh, you got to. Did you get to play? No, no, you didn't get to play as the Nazis. You got to play as. Um, there was one more. Uh, I think it was the. Was it the French? I think it was one more. It was Probably the one. French or like the Belgians. No, the Belgians got wrecked. Who am I kidding? But uh, yeah, so like it had, it had like a, it had like a nice mix, and like every mission was like a different faction. So like every single mission you completed, you moved on to like a different part of the world with a different scenery. It was it was a really good campaign, and it had a fun online. So like I can't I can't say that Call of Duty Finest Hour was not a good game. You're right. It would be it would be wrong to say that. Would you say yeah. that Call of Duty has greatly declined over the years? Yeah, um, ever since Modern Warfare One, it's gotten worse and worse and worse. I can agree to that. Uh, I can say Mar- I can say right now, Modern Warfare One is the pinnacle of military shooters. If you want a good military shooter, uh, are you talking you about the campaign or the multiplayer though? Um, I'm talking about the game, the entirety of Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the pinnacle of military shooters. A word from our sponsor. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, so Fetus Good actually brought, sorry to interrupt everyone, but Fetus Good brought up um, uh, canceled Call of Duty games. I actually haven't. I don't know. Jim, have you seen any or Pops? No. You guys are more shooters? No, no. Oh, okay, that's embarrassing. Um, Why is it embarrassing? Because you guys are the shooter guys, man. I got. I don't follow Call of Duty, though. I, I, the real-time Call of Duty card game. The Call of Duty card game? Well, wait a minute. I remember... Uh, I'm 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 speaking from uh, old days, um, the board games. Right? You kids don't. I'm What's talking, a board game? Yeah, uh, oh, it's a board. What? You know, that, that board. Yeah. To, Avalon Yu Gi Oh. Oh my Hill God. Had a card game that a was based Roman on World game. World War II. I forgot the name of it. Uh, up front or something or like that. But I I can see where uh, fetus good. No, he's talking about a, a third-person Vietnam game, not a card game, board game fan. Oh. Third-person <coughs> Vietnam game? Yeah, apparently they canceled it. You know what? Uh, you know what is another super underrated yeah. game? Was Ghost Recon Two. Ghost that Recon Two. Good. How old is that? Yeah, game? Uh, it's not as old as the Xbox, the yeah. original Xbox. Wow. That game was awesome, dude. That game was really good. I'm gonna say it right now. <laughs> it was a really good third person over the shooter game. And it was the first yeah, Ghost know. Recon game it's where you actually could see your gun. Just happy to see us. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you li- Pop, when you're not talking, you listen to other people. You don't comment about bananas in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. Sorry. Alright. So Mahoney was saying that Ghost Recon 2 was godlike. Yeah, just, uh, that was another Ghost really Recon good military that shooter. On PC? No, that's on Xbox. Yeah, original. It was Xbox original. original. I mean, and it looked you glorious for its time. I'm going to send you guys a video. Tell me this game did not look freaking glorious for its time. I mean, sends, that's OG sends, Xbox. Sends that's the, OG the, Xbox. Um, fast forward to like, the, fast forward to like two minutes and like, Vietnam. Hold up, dude. This is an OG Xbox game? Yeah, this is an OG Xbox game. Are you serious? Yeah, it looks like Future Soldier, dude. Dude, this is an original Dude, these graphics are really good for freaking OG Xbox. That's just like the... What what was it? The other game that... Future... Contacto! Contacto la zona! Muchos objetivos! Speak English! You're in America! Uh, Pops, it's like a French video. Diana confirmada. Fast forward to like no two Debo yeah. Fast like forward to the organism. actual people. Oh. Game looks fucking great for an Xbox game. Oh yeah, dude. This game literally and it played like, well. Uh, it played, it played phenomenal. It played, it played, it played, it played great. Uh, the guns felt great. Ghost Recon, Future Soldier. 
Quake? Are you talking about Quake? Quake, Quake, Pops, Quake. Yes. Quake? You don't want to oh. get into Quake, dude. Quake. There you go, Mahomes. Tell him about Quake. Tell him about Quake, because this kid doesn't know what he's talking about. Quake, Quake is... Quake is the pinnacle of shooters. It is... Quake is the the, the granddaddy. He's, yeah. It's the best shooter ever made. Right. What about Quake Wars, the Mahoney? Quake I mean, Wars. I don't know about Quake Wars. I'm talking Quake 1, 2, 3. Yeah, and then there was Quake Wars. What's Oliver, the one we played. Quake Wars. Quake Wars. Quake right. Wars. And I, that's I all don't right. know much about Quake Wars. Is this the same? Oh, was the same that the one that was supposed that to be like Brink? unreal? Bethesda? Yeah. No, I think the people that made... Quake. The people that made Brink was Splash Damage. Yeah. The people that produced Brink was, was Bethesda. Bethesda. Now, I'm going to talk about Brink. Oh, they no. should have expanded that. That was the ultimate game. Bobs, no one cares. Nobody likes Brink. We're a minority. Pops, I know I'm an oh, the, whoa, 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 minority. Yeah, so people should support us, right? They should that's help right, us. Right, no, that's but we're, right. we're I'm gonna white. put my hand down here. Brink lives matter. Brink game. lives matter. <laughs> All right, next subject. I don't even. Well, um, you don't even have a subject. Oh my god, no, do I, I have, have to carry you? I have subjects. It's just that we keep. Do you want to talk about the community more? Because that's what we were supposed to be All talking right. about. Well, All right, I um, have gone for a bit. Okay. Um, speaking of communities, casual versus hardcore. Everyone, you know, you're a casual. I would say I'm. A, I'm basically. Uh, you're not. You're. You're a casual. Is there? Dude. Is there a, like this casual in between? Medium, in between? Or I mean, am I am I being too gray politically I think, correct? Yeah, you're being too gray, dude. Oh my god. Like, okay, yeah, I know who that is. Um. Though I mean, I guess there's an in between because you can you can play it not at a high level, but you can still take it competitively and seriously. You know, like like with the racing no, game. You know, no, like I'll, I'll take. I'll give okay. you a good example. Sure. Birds of Steel. You got arcade, where you have bombers doing loops. No way. In real life, you can't even. All right. That is nothing. Yeah. Oh. So then, then you got uh, realistic. Eh, okay. And then you got the uh, simulation. Okay. Which everybody should get into simulation first. <laughs> if you're not playing simulation, you're doing it wrong. That's right. You're doing a wuss way. Yeah, okay. Uh, so see, now I have got off the subject again. No, that's that's perfect because right. the thing is is that I think a lot of games should implement the Realis realism. Okay, no, not that. I'm talking about they should because games are more realistic. Like those games, you know, they are they're basically a simulation, right? So why not have an arcade for the, you know, the arcade version or like the the basic for the people that aren't the casuals? So you're saying you're trying to treat it more of a hardcore. Well, then it standpoint. goes back to money. But I mean, Birds of Steel didn't do either, so. Oh, they made a lot of. Them. Made them. Yeah. No. And then it, they went to PS4 and it turned into War Thunder, and they just totally ignored the community of Birds of Steel, which is too bad. First, it made Birds of Prey, Birds of Steel, which was the the, uh, the stepping stone for War Thunder. That's what it was. They were going to make it for War Thunder. But the thing is, they only make it for PS4 and not for anything else. Which sucks. You guys suck. Okay, well, um... Okay, so... <laughs> I mean, um, have, 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 to Mason's dead, have you played the Storm Variety games? Uh... Let's say like that a, again, they're, Mahoney. They're, they're, uh, once I gotta look up the name, make sure I can I say it right. I just want to. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, one second. It's a good. It's a cool game. Uh, I think I put it under simulate. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Storm Stormovic. 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 Il two Stormovic. Yeah, Pops uh, has played that. that uh, I think that's only for PC, right? Yeah, Pops, yeah. you played that on let, Xbox 360. Let Sean join. Yeah. Let Sean join the chat. We can use another person. Sean's here. All right. I think, I think that that I think that that was a pretty sweet like mix between yeah. a simulator and a non-simulator. Right. Because it like it like it had all the stuff of like you had to like I, it, you couldn't like even take off if you didn't know enough about planes, but like yeah. but like it wasn't like the hardcore simulator where like. The thing is. With with, with uh, simulation, you have to practice realism. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, gun the engine, 
and then just take off and pull the, the throw uh, pull the stick back and you go up in the air yeah because you're gonna either blow your engine if you if you yeah. You know. But what if what if people wanted to just play the game and not worry about that stuff? Pops, you telling them that they shouldn't even play at all? They should just leave, just get out. Yeah, they suck. Okay, all right. Well, there you <laughs> go. So. And that's why the community. That's why it all goes back to the community. Yeah, you know. That's right. That's so all goes back to the money. Thank thing. you very much. It's not the you. money. Why would it be about the money? Because the thing is, they're trying to make money by bringing uh, in the they, casual that's people. That's why they have the arcade. I know it's all but about that, the money. But yo, they're lucky they're including you because all the money's in the casual audience. It's true. All the money's there, because that's 90% of the people on this earth are casuals. They're filthy plebs. Tell me I'm wrong. Filthy, filthy casuals. Filthy, filthy casuals. Roman? Yeah. Pops thinks he's good, but he's actually just a casual. Whoa. Pops, what do you have to say about that? That's actually really insulting. Are we talking birds of steel, Oliver? No, dude, I'm talking overall. Oh, overall. Okay, yeah, casual. All right, no, I'm not going to disagree with you. But I try to get into realism. Mm -hmm. So what, everybody <laughs> shuts up now? <laughs> that was funny. No, I, I, want, I, want, I want some more drama. Fetus, what is fetus good? Uh, he just said something about third person. No, Vietnam. he's already said that. We've already covered that. Yeah, that know, that was been said. That's been said ten minutes ago. <laughs> he's monitoring us, right? Yeah. He's... In case we start swearing. No. Oh my. God. He's not, he, he can't, can't ban us. He can't, he can't ban us. We're streaming. He can't ban us. I don't know how that would even Theoretically, work. actually, he like could. This? We could oh get God. banned. Can someone, I might actually just crop this out. Can right, I crop this out, late. actually? Not too late. I can't crop it out. No, you can't do okay. anything about it. Um, well, I don't think little kids are up now anyway. Right? You don't know that. Um, <laughs> That's right. Their parents, their parents are letting them stay up. What about all Hawaii? Hawaii? It's Friday. Hawaii? It's fr yeah, isn't that, isn't that... Is that a day ahead, or is that... Friday, man. England. England. Think close. of English. England Think of the English. Ahead, so it's, the 24 uh, hour ahead is New Zealand. New Zealand is a, is a, is a day ahead of us. Right. I believe. Yeah, so they're probably really I believe it's New Zealand. Yeah. No, it's. Yeah, Happy oh, New Year. Oh my god. Okay. Um, okay, so that's Pops is casuals should die in a hole. Um, Jim and or Mahoney. Not all games. Yo. What would you? What's your take? Uh, casual versus hardcore? Should there be like, like I think I honestly like how Birds of Steel did it. That's actually a smart idea. Is that you bring true, both yeah. of yeah. the the community so you can make as much money as you can. Um, online gets a little shaky because yeah, but, a lot of people yeah. could just cheat and, and play too arcade. Bad. It's too bad if you go to the uh, Birds of Steel uh, website there. The uh, what do they call it? The forum. 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 They didn't have enough DLC, and my regret is this was a Russian company putting out this game and they never incorporated the MiG-3. You know, you people oh, okay. suck. Okay, okay. You should have incorporated Pops. the MiG-3. It's because MiG no one cares about the game. Because there's Pops, a it's a game about World War II planes. There's going to be no jets. Pops. Alexander Prokhrushchev, man, he made the MiG-3. Why didn't they put incorporate the MiG-3? <laughs> because, because it's a it's World a, War II love, game. Oh my God. There were I almost love, no love, jets love. in World War II. It's no. not that big of a deal. The Germans were the ones who came up with the jets. You should know this. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Put the mic over here. Put the mic. Oh the my God. Let's, okay. Hey. 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 Game. Let's slow down. Oh let's have. God. Let's have a, a, a distinguished, a, 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 an elegant <laughs> debate about this. Let's put the drinks down. Let's start drinking oh wine, not God. the booze. This not is so the intense. Booze, baby. Freak the. At least I'm not doing medicinal marijuana. Oh my God. You could. Be. You should be at this point. No, no, actually, yeah, Pops needs to chill out. He's got too much rage towards that games was that he loves. That was a big rage. Uh, if, if I can put in my input. Okay. All right. I like games that separate casual matches from ranked matches. Yeah. But I think that there are some games that should be... It depends on the developer. If the game is designed to be a completely skill-based, completely competitive game, like something like Quake, then I don't think that there's really room for competitive play or for casual play. Because how do you make Quake casual other than just sucking at it? Whereas <laughs> a game like Halo or something, I think is a perfect competitive and casual game. Because if you're playing Halo, you can just do stupid shit like in Halo 1 where you would just drive two 
warthogs towards each other, and then they would go flying up in the air really high. Like, you could do stupid shit like that. So, like, I think it has room for being a casual game and a competitive game, whereas a game like Quake or a game like Dota doesn't really have room for casual play. So I think it depends on the game heavily. I mean, I've I've played Quake just kind of screwing around, and it's, like, super fun. Yeah, but- but Sean's here, by the way, everyone. Yeah, welcome, Sean. Welcome. We have, Hi. We have Sean finally joined us for the the, uh, the games and you discussion. Oh, I wanna, first of all, I oh, want to apologize for my outburst. Oh my God! No one cares. No one cares about your games. <laughs> no one cares. No I one thought cares it was amazing. I thought it was amazing. Everybody, this, no one cares. This is what I think. Then, like, if you don't care, no one cares about oh, your God. games. All right. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Well, Sean, you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> What I was saying was that, like, um, you know, I, um, there was one time where, um, you know, I was, uh, I was in my vocational school and I was in programming for my, for my shop. And this one kid brought in Quake 3 Arena on a USB drive and just all of us playing on the local school network. And it was like, super fun like no one knew like really how to play but like it was just we were just screwing around so i mean i think i think if you don't take it serious i think not taking it seriously like i don't know i so like let me just preface this by saying i don't know much of the or really any of the context behind this discussion (laughs) but i think if but i think that not taking it seriously immediately takes it from being competitive to being casual. Yeah. Well, I think I think what the what fun aspect. Yeah. Well, what he's trying to say, what Sean's trying to say, is that he found we can bring this back to the communities. He found the right community for himself, right. so that exactly. he can enjoy the game. The community. Like overall, Quake's a very competitive, very you know high strung, right. you know really intense shooter. Right. You know, yeah, and but, but, but yeah. well, but sh- most people suck. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and, thank you. We and, agree on that point. And and Sean was yes. able to find a, a classroom filled with people that wanted to try out Quake, and they all got you know all on the same skill level, all on the same you know attitude, and they're all discovering the game together. You know that's godlike. Yeah, that's godlike. That's great. Uh, I, I want to make it clear that by competitive, I don't just mean games that you have to learn a bunch of shit to be good at. I'm just referring to the aspect of playing to win. Yeah, like, yeah. I think what makes oh, the only way I anger. think you can really enjoy Quake at its purest form is that you're playing because you want to win. I think that that's what makes Quake fun. Is, well, isn't is, that the is, reason we play it, any it, game? Is because we well, want to no. win. No, I, I don't. I don't think that. I think that there's plenty of games that you can play just to have fun, and that you don't really care if you win or lose. Whereas in Quake, like, it's a it's like you just want to win. Like you, you want to be the best. Like if you play duels in Quake, like you can't play duels in Quake with any intention other than to win. Whereas in other games, you can find other ways to have fun with just two people. I think that like Quake is so embedded in the idea of winning that it's very difficult to make the game anything other than winning. Whereas a game like what I was saying, like Halo, you can have so much fun in Halo, not even playing a game mode. You can just do stupid shit and have fun playing it. Whereas in Quake, there's no fun just walking around the map and shooting at walls or something. Like, But that's because they've given the community the tools to turn it into just being able to do stupid shit. Exactly. For, forge mode, you know, forge mode just turns it into limitless possibilities. Yes. Whereas if I mean, they just stayed with matchmaking and just stayed with... You know, what is it in Halo 5 now, Arena? If, if it was just matchmaking and just four-on-four Team Slayer all the time, there would be no get casual mad aspect to that. Yeah, Exactly. But that's the point I'm, I'm trying to yeah, make, think, is that yeah. Halo made room for casual audience. Quake wanted no part in that. They didn't want to have to make the casual scene. They wanted the game to be always about skill, always right. about winning. Yeah. They didn't want anyone to play the game for other reasons. They wanted the game to be all about that. I think. And I think, I think we that should, oh, oh. Now, did that's that did that a perfectly valid way to make a video game? Is all now, I'm saying. Now, Matt, did that game make a lot of money? 
Quake made was very successful then for why... its time. Now, it was successful for more reasons than just being uh, a, a, a hardcore game or a, a competitive game. Right. It was also successful because it just broke boundaries that had never been. Yeah, it had broken one of the before. best. It had one of the best. I think the the person that wrote the, the net code the was like a, like people still use his net code ideologies yeah. for like CS:GO yeah. and. And, but, and, yeah. and, like, Unreal, it was the first game yeah. that ever contained all three-dimensional models. Um, I, it, it's, it was, like, it, that game was revolutionary in almost every aspect you can imagine. <laughs> I mean, it gave birth to the speedrunning community yep. as we know it today. Like, that game literally, like, it, it, it is, like, one of the most important video games in gaming. Like, next to, like, something like Half-Life, maybe. Like, there's very few games that were as important as Quake. Would you say... <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me say this first, because it's on topic. Would you say that the original Halo was a pinnacle game? No. No. Uh, Halo 2. <laughs> Halo 2. Jim, Halo was like... Um, Halo the, the 2 one... was the pinnacle game. I would say if there was. Uh, we're not Halo saying of the Halo series, uh, Pops. We're saying, two. like, of society. No. Halo 2, because oh my God. I, I remember... Somebody telling me We're not that the guy kept his Xbox on when they were gonna take what is it? Oh the, my God! The, the multi servers, the, multi the, the multiplayer down. off for Xbox, Xbox oh for God. Halo Two. He kept his game on until they booted it. They booted it off. So <laughs> oh I would say my Halo God. Two. Oh my god. I okay, I true hero. I just wanted, I just wanted to catch up before this all continues. Sean needs to know the topic right now. Sean, we're yeah, talking yeah. about <laughs> um, casual versus hardcore. That's why we're kind of, yeah. That's why he had like he had an opinion, and then we had. Have we talked about Smash yet? Oh boy. No. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. We don't want to talk oh, about oh, that. Smash? We don't want to hear oh, Matt's unpopular uh, opinion let's, on let's Smash. Finish, let's finish <laughs> with um. Let's, let's, let's talk about the Halo. The only thing Quake that and, and the hackers. Were oh my there god. Any hackers in Quake? Yes, because, because it's a shooter right, online. What do you people, think? But they, but they were also, hackers. they were very good about hackers. They actually, um, they actually, kind of, were one of the the, the people who created like the early like uh, the banhammer. Yeah, the banhammer systems yeah. where people were were very strict about that kind of stuff, and the community was strict about it. Yeah, the people yeah. cared enough to make it a, to make a difference. When people were hacking. <laughs> yeah. so, what, so what happened to the community? They all get lax and let everybody hack now for these other games. <laughs> well, it's it's the it's the type of community. It's not like the the Quake yeah, community is totally different community. than like the the Overwatch community. Exactly, where where they don't some they, like someone who have to win no matter what, and they'll hack just because they the kill death rate. The KD is like. 100 to 0. Oh, look at me. I got 100 and Yeah, but then, kills but then no you one. argue that that doesn't count because you're a hacker. You're not going to go. Yeah, but think, to them it counts. But no one cares because you're not in a yeah. tournament. You're yeah, not but, high level. But, yeah, but yeah, also, he if, you, but also, on, if you're competitive in your circle of friends and you're just oh. saying to them, oh, I have 100 KD, that makes you seem really good. Whether it, like, if they don't know that you're hacking, yeah, yeah. you could be oh, like, yeah. dude, check. You could be like, dudes. Check out this awesome yeah. hack that I have that gives me, you know, God mode and perfect aimbot and all this other stuff, and I just can't die. Right. But if you just went up to a group of people and was like, "Yeah, I have," you know, even if if he, it, he, I mean, if you were hacking and you wanted to make, if I was hacking and I wanted to make it, you know, not sound like I was, but still gloat, I would pick a more realistic number maybe like two or three not a hundred but mm -hmm. but yeah, it's still like that point of if you went up to a group of people didn't bring up the hacking issue and just, just said you were good yeah, but, they have no way of saying well you hack so <laughs> unless if you play with them and the then, thing is and then, though yeah. at the end of the yeah. game at, a, at every session the kill D comes KD. up KD comes up and it shows a guy that Top of the list, 100 kills, two deaths, and people start wondering, 